I actually ordered more of these lights that don't heat up as much at all. Like, they've been on all day, and they are great. Rhett Majors is watching. Rhett, are we going to bring you on camera today so you can say good day, mate, to everybody? Ignacio is still waiting for you to say it in an Australian accent. So today we're going to use the Ultra Mini 1, 2, 3, go! I just took off my... I have a hair on my chin. It must be a cat hair. Ugh. Hi, Mary! So this is the Ultra Mini 1, 2, 3, go! In the sculpted style. Gloria! Wow! Jacopo! Uh huh. Okay. We're gonna apply her with DIY gel. I already have peel off base coat on this nail so that I can take it off, get my flashy lamp ready. I'm gonna bend it so that way it's even more C curvy. Yes to the Australian accent. Come on, Rat. Do it for the girls. You probably left alive already. Hey, Max. Hi, love. Share, thank you. That pink army love. We don't got no rhinos here. Ain't that the truth? We don't got no Nancy Kerrigans or Tanya Hardings. Chuck Cassie. So let's line her up. This nail is so short, you guys. I had to take off my real nail. To show you how short it is, look. That's how short it is, like literally. My real nail is about the same length. So tiny. So if you see your nail coming off, that means you don't have enough DIY gel on there. So we gotta put some more. That is one of the biggest Troubleshooting that we have is not enough DIY or having too much. And it just comes with uh, practice as well too. And remember, keep it thin on the sides, thin at the cuticle area. Good tight. Lights, Steve. So the lights, I I wouldn't recommend them just because they're not bright enough. I actually have two on right now and it's not bright enough. I can still see shadow. So I had to get four. But you know what I was thinking last night too? Is like maybe I should make some lights. I make UV lights already. Why not make table lights? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. See, there we go. That is just perfect amount of DIY gel. She stays in place. There's no running. Let's freeze her. Oh, oh. Antonia Kumina Wilson is here. I'm already making uh, racks, so I might as well make some lights. Let's pick up for one minute. He's like, make some. I will buy them immediately. Me encanta Selena. Qué bueno. Fíjate que Selena me la pidieron eh, las nenas del Instagram en vivo. Those are really short. Are you feeling okay? No. But I was like, you know what? Let's do something out of our comfort zone. I didn't have anybody planned for a model because I've been so, so busy. I'm working on something really cool, actually. Um, so I haven't, I haven't had any time for any models, but I was like, I've had a lot of requests to do the Ultra Mini 1, 2, 3, Go, and either the sculpted or the natural. They're about this, they're pretty much the same size, except one's uh, more sculpted than the other. But I was like, I need to do the demo so that way everybody can see what it looks like. Get our little file ready. The Mini Boss Nail. Yes. Hi, Miss Michelle. So there it is, you guys. It is literally like my real nail. This is my real nail. This is the Ultra Mini One Two Three Go. Look, look at them side by side. Pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna go in. This is 
before you have to stop. 150, perfect. So on Instagram, I did her more squarish. I'm gonna try to round it out a little bit more here on Facebook just to mix it up. You've convinced my daughter to let me do her nails. Wow, she likes short nails, huh? Somebody asked me, they're like, well, you make an uh, ultra mini stiletto. I'm like, sweetie, you can't make us. How are you going to make this into a stiletto? It's already so short. If you want like a more pointy short nail, go with the active almond. Do you use this music at parties, Ignacio? Really, when you were a kid? What about when you uh, got married and you have parties? No? What about at the baby shower you went to? Really? Why so somber at a baby shower? That's for kids. That you guys, it looks just like my real nail. Most definitely, most definitely great for tiny little nail beds. For nail biters, yes. If you're a really bad nail biter, though, you've got to make sure you apply gel on the inside to seal it. Let's remove the shine on the top of the nail. Make sure that cuticle is blender for fill. And on Instagram, I did something really light. But since I might keep this nail for the weekend, let's do something a little bit more dark. You know, nail art for men is really trending right now, so let's do something a little... Let's do something a little bit more... Machine Gun Kelly. Because he paints his nails, doesn't he? Ignacio, does Machine Gun Kelly wear nails? Like his nails painted? Is he, what is he, a rapper or what is he? Yeah. Machine... Machine Gun Kelly, Machine Gun Ignacio. This is kind of... I don't want to say manly because then people are going to be like, That's... That's... That's discrimination! That's not gender neutral! That's not all inclusive! How dare you say nails are manly? I have to pick something that is more tough, more rugged looking. Does the glow in the dark top would have to be used? No, just over any nail. I've seen them painted before. How does he wear them though? I'm not sure. So this is kind of like something a dude could wear, right? This is the hipster sticker. Hipster background. This is kind of cool. We'll do this one. So for the base color, something neutral. I'm gonna do it black, because then this won't pop out. Which color? It's not like I don't have any, huh? Let's see. Oh, I know. I have the perfect color. No, never mind. Too dark. 
Let's go on something that's really neutral. Keep it safe. So we're gonna go in with a nice light coat. Green! I know, I was looking for a green right now. But it has to be like a dark green, like an orange. Oh, this is perfect! Thank you, Miss Tiffany! I think the green with this look, will look really cool. But I'm gonna ombre it a little bit. So for the base, I'm gonna use A Pink number one. So that's literally so natural. Beautiful. And then let's sprinkle a little bit of acrylic on it to ombre. So I'm going to take my almond brush. Sprinkle our acrylic just on the free edge where we're going to do the ombre. When you do this technique, make sure you don't sprinkle any acrylic close to the cuticle area because that will not be good, trust. It'll be harder to clean it out and blend it out. So we're going to bake this for one minute. Cool. This is from the I think I'm the I'm Curious collection. This is one of the. What color is the power? The power of what? Oh, the powder. Uh, Eternal beige. Ride or die color, eternal beige. brush which is our ombre brush make sure it's nice and dry and then we're going to very gently feather it towards the back to begin to ombre the color Look how beautiful that ombre is out, you guys. Can you see that? And you're able to do this because of the acrylic powder underneath. So don't forget who showed you that technique. It was Uncle Max. So let's freeze this for 30 seconds. And we're going to apply velvet. the number one matte gel in the universe. Hi. That's right, we have thousands of videos on acrylic application. I think we have over 10,000 posts, you guys. That is a lot. 
so we're gonna have to binge watch. That's the best kind of binge washing. So we take velvet and we're gonna apply it over the entire nail. Bake it for 30 seconds. We're gonna use the hipster stickers today. Uh, men themed nail art today. And I guess it's becoming a bigger and bigger market too, which is really cool. But not necessarily guys wearing like long nails, like really snatched, but like guys wearing short. Uh, overlays, gel manicures and things like that. So it just opens up the portal if uh, if you do this in the salon for a lot of new potential. So we're gonna do these kind of esoteric looking one, esoteric hipster ones. start pressing out in the center and then towards the edges and nice and slowly if you do this fast you're more than likely to get bubbling or wrinkling trust I learned the hard way and a little moustache Put a velvet. Hi Sue. I actually am feeling this fingernail. I think I might keep it. And we're gonna layer velvet over the entire nail. Upside down and let it self level up for about 30 seconds or so. And so important, you guys, always put the lid on your tweezers because you do not want them getting ruined. Trust. Oh, she just starts. Thank you. Print. 
They love Selena in the background. There we go. So let's bake this for one minute inside the dancing garden. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let me know. Press the number four if you ever have that issue when you're working on a client, for example, let's say, and then you gotta go to the bathroom really bad. It's happened to me now. Lordy, Lord, Lord. Me and my bladder of a racehorse. Tacos for dinner. Nope. Got me in bed dance and she's ready for the fantasy. Datsun stickers? Like the dog or the car? 444. Four, four. Myself. Oh my gosh, isn't that worst? Oh my gosh. Lordy, Lord, Lord. Look at that. Woo! This is dope. Look how mad it is too, you guys. Velvet gel is no joke. Can you guys believe this is a full coverage gel nail? Like look how tiny it is. And the ombre is really cool looking too. That's really cool! Well, I have surprised myself. Well, my loves, that's gonna wrap it up for today's live demo. Don't forget to visit the website, enocouture.com and check out all the incredible new products that we have because you 